Hi, it's Constance Fairlight. This video today is on living life on your terms. Now, for some people, living life on your terms might mean, well, going against the grain, or maybe making decisions that aren't as healthy for you as possible. But for others, living life on their terms means living a fulfilling, purpose-driven life. Some people think, oh, I don't know, it's pretty tough. I gotta keep doing what I've been doing for so long because that's all I know. But is it? Or does your soul know? Does your entire being know what you were born to do? And I bet on some days, at some point, you've experienced that flow, that energy, that, that certainty about everything that you know feels right and what you should be doing. Well, we don't live by our shoulds. Our shoulds don't get us results. Our musts do. Now, I'm not here to you know, tell you to talk yourself up. I'm not here to say, you know, do your affirmations every day because that's not gonna get you results. Getting clear on what you truly want getting clear on what your values are, what your purpose is, and then creating a plan to get you there is what's gonna make you fulfilled. It's gonna make you feel alive. You know, I've been there, or I have lived a, a, a non-purpose driven life, and it's painful. It's absolutely painful, but you know, a lot of things happen in our lives. They teach us great lessons. And when we learn those lessons and we realize why we're here and, and why we want to do what we do, our life is so much more fulfilling, so much more powerful. Now, behind me, you can see a path. And it might not be your path, but it might be someone else's. Do you want to walk someone else's path or your own? How many times have you succumbed to someone else's limiting belief? How many times have you had someone, have you had a great idea like of what you wanted and, and you knew that that was your purpose, but someone said, oh, are you sure, mate? You know, do you think that that might be a bit too hard? And you went, oh, maybe. And then you regretted it because you knew that that was your purpose and you walked away from it. I'm here to tell you that living a purpose-driven, service-oriented life of contribution, and when you come from your heart space, when you come from that place of love and growth, your life is amazing. So many things change. You go from you know, living in a world of depression and, and anxiety and always wondering why or always wondering what if, to living a life that, that's fulfilling and, and gives you joy, gives you energy, creates more vitality, more health and well-being. So I'd like to suggest that perhaps you might want to ask that question. Am I living my life on my terms? Or am I allowing other people's limiting beliefs other people's judgments, other people's decisions about what I should or shouldn't do affect the way I live my life. At the end of the day, it's just going to be you and you looking in that mirror. Are you going to be able to give yourself that A plus for the day or you know, that encouragement to keep going on, to keep moving forward.
So, if you're not living that purpose-driven, fulfilling life, I've got three questions to ask you. One, why not? What's holding you back? What's stopping you? Is it a limited belief? Is it someone else's judgment? Are you really living your life on your terms or are you living it, you know, are you living someone else's picture of what your life is supposed to be? And let me tell you, they won't have your highest good in their hearts. It's going to be what they're looking, what they're wanting to get out of life, that they want you to fit into their mold. Number two, once you have that answer of why not, you have to ask yourself, is that 100% completely true? Without a shadow of a doubt, is that thing unmovable? Un it's, it's stuck in stone. And three, what small shift can you make today? What decision can you make and then take one small action step that will get you toward moving into that purpose-driven, fulfilling life, that living on your own terms, not living in anyone else's box. So have a think. And let me know. Leave your comments in the links below or in the spaces below. And um, yeah, I look forward to hearing from you. Have a wonderful day and create that magnificent life. You deserve it.